in the art of tranquil Japanese garden, nestled amidst cherry blossom trees and koi ponds, lived a young woman named Akiko. Akiko, like many of us, yearned to achieve great things, but the path to success often seemed shrouded in mystery. Akiko walks through the serenity courtyard of a traditional Japanese maestri. She reaches the sliding door and knocks gently. The door slides open, revealing a wise old master, wow, 70 years old, with a gentle smile and a long white beard. He gestures for Akiko to enter. Ah, Akiko, come in, come in, please sit. Akiko bows respectfully and sits on a cushion on the tatami mat facing Master Wow. Thank you, Master Wow. I apologize for the institution. Master Wow, there are no institution here, child. What troubles you? Akiko said, Master, I have a burning desire to achieve great things, to make a difference in the world, but I don't know where to begin. Akiko's eyes reflect a yearning for guidance. Master, wow, a noble ambition, Akiko, but the greatest achievement often begin with the smaller steps. Tell me, have you seen the cherry blossom in bloom yet this year? Akiko, no master, they have not quite reached their peak yet, Master Wow. Indeed, but they will want they they will blossom into a spectacle of beauty, a test to nature's patient work. Master Wow's words sparked a realization with Hakiko. True achievement was not about a singular grand accomplishment. It was about the journey, the dedication, the quiet growth that led there. Hakiko embraced Master Wow's teachings she focused on the present moment, on nurturing the seed of her desire with patience and diligence. She learned to find joy in the small tasks, knowing they were all part of her growth. Akiko, Master Wawa, I understand now. Achieving something is not about the final destination, but the path we take to get there. Master Wow, indeed, Hakiku, you have begun to understand the true essence of sin. Remember, let go of attachment to the outcome. Embrace the present moment and the journey itself will guide you. With a newfound perspective, Hakiku left the monastery. She was not sure what the future held, but she was ready to face it with a calm mind and a determined heart. Hakiko returned to her village and began to share the wisdom she had learned. She did not see grand gestures, but focused on making a positive impact where she could. If you like to watch and listen this type of stories, then Subscribe my channel for more videos.